how do you like your chicken cooked? Uh, Me, <laughs> I like it medium rare. Okay, <laughs> we just I like the top bit cooked, but I like just a thin line of pink in the middle. Mm. Does that not make you ill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we interview your buddy G for about 10 minutes? Yeah, sure. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> this I like is it. Shall I get my glasses, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the table out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let do me it, just go do get it. them. When I walk in, I'll beat your buddy. I oh, love it. This I is great. It. This is going to be like peak improv. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I just say what an honour it is to meet you? Let me just start off by saying... Um, that's my uh, call centre voice. Okay. I always find it's a technique that I use when I'm chatting to old people and they're on the phone trying to con them. I go, um, you know, so we do a little improv. Ring, 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 ring. Hale. Very rhythmic. It's like good. Like a songbird. Like Ultimately, they're in, oh, what's going on? What a lovely falsetto he has. Hale. I'm going to try it. <laughs> try it, Stevie. Hale. Oh, nice little breath. Go on, Jackie. Hello. Oh, a bit of Michael Jackson kind of MJ vibes there. Oh, my glasses are streaming up. <laughs> Why have you got sunglasses on inside, Shabbat? Well, okay, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Okay, right. the eyes are very dirty. They're very disgusting, smelly. You see all the horrors, all the kind of poetic stuff in my eyes. If I hide my eyes, you're not going to know that I'm a creep. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What yeah. what brand are they? These ones? Yeah. Um. So these ones are actually D&G, um, Deep Back and Gurdiv. So, yeah. Two Asian brothers from Hounslow, rivals actually now. <laughs> They're at Ward, yeah. Deep back and guard if it's split up. D&G, you heard of them? <laughs> yes, big I'm fashion. Yeah. Out of them, big in the they game. They pretend though. they're Italian, but really they're Bengali. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you um? What makes you come onto this podcast? It is an honour for us to have you on, obviously. But what what makes you come well, on? I got a bit confused. I'm not going to lie, Jack Mate. Um, which I like, Jack Mate as well. You know, Jack Mate, good name. Um, someone said, "Do you want to come onto the Happy Ending podcast?" <laughs> and I thought. <laughs> You know, I haven't had one today, so <laughs> we, we could still get there. Oh, what, under the table now? Yeah, yeah. Maybe the at the end of the interview. Yeah. The it, camera's off. it depends if you brought any peanut dust with you. Did you? I've always got peanut dust, mate. I've got so much; it's kind of overloaded. I'm trying to get rid of it. To be honest, <laughs> mate, I can't. I can't bloody give it away. Something we always ask our guests, to buddy, is what's your what's your go-to meal deal? Right. Oh God, that's a good, really good question. Card. Oh God. Um, not not cod, not cod. I just I have some a speech impediment. Um, I would say a, a chicken, a, a, a chicken tikka sandwich. But hear me out now, not normal chicken. Okay, how do you like your chicken cooked? Uh, me, <laughs> I like it medium rare. Okay, we just I like the top bit cooked, but I like just a thin line of pink in the middle. Mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Kind of melts in your mouth. Does that not make you ill? Yeah. <laughs> I like to really feel my meals. Right, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's your snack. Medium rare chicken tikka sandwich. <laughs> um, and then I think I'll go for classic peanut dust. Right. Um, yeah, just kind of, you know what I mean? Just, you know, do a bit of salt bay yeah. into the mouth. Yeah. Um, and then I think I would go for, you don't know about lassi? Huh? Lassi. What's that? Lassi is an Asian yogurt drink. <laughs> is you know, it? Yeah, lassi. It's like, a, it's like an Asian milkshake. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, lassi. Um, and I'll put a bit of vodka in there. Yeah. <laughs> and again, maybe finish it off with the peanut dust just on top. Do a little peanut teeny. You know, just a little sprinkle around the rim. Lovely, crunchy rim. <laughs> I'm thinking as with all our guests, we do need to rate this meal deal. Nutty I, I... rim. <laughs> well, do you know what, Stevie? I think this is going to be the only time ever I give it a perfect score. You're going to give it a 10? I'm going to give it a 10. I think you've sold it to me, your buddy. Listen, mate, I can sell anything. I can sell ice to an Eskimo and curry to a racist. <laughs> <laughs> how would you sell this man? Like, because he's a co-host, but he's very weak at his job. So, wow. How, how, would you sell, how would you sell him? Okay, I'll say, this is Stewie. Look at him. He's a really nice man. He's got a nice uh, haircut a little bit to the side. He looks like he gives very good oral sex. He looks like an absolute giver. You know what I mean? I reckon you would go down on a lady for 45 minutes and you would expect nothing back. <laughs> Is that true, Stephen? Very giving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See who sold? He sold, sold. it. I could sell anything, mate. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to give your buddy um, 10 out of 10, the perfect meal deal score. I, I can't not after he's just said that about me. I think we get t 10 out of 10. You're the, you're the best meal deal ever. I know. The best meal deal is Stevie with all that cunnilingus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bloody meal deal right there, mate. I'll tell you yeah. what. 
What's the greatest song of all time, Chibuddy? I would probably say <laughs> one on my own. So you know, I don't know, you know that geezer, um, you know that ginger geezer, Ed Shearer. You know, have you Ed heard of him? Ed Sheeran. Yeah, Ed Sheeran. Oh, that's it, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. So he came up to me, you know, we did like a little Good After Fem sketch and all that. And he was going, oh, Chibuddy, I love you, Chibuddy. He was like, I made this song, yeah. I made this song. That's how he chats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, I made this song, yeah. He goes, oh, and it's like everyone's saying that I'm doing songs about you. I made this song. It goes like, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, I'm in love with your body. And he was like, everyone's messaging me and saying, oh, you're chatting about Chibuddy. And then he was like, oh, please, Chibuddy, do a remix. So I remixed it for him. <laughs> right. And I was like, Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I'm in love with your body. Oh, ho, ho. you know what I mean? And then after that, have you got was, any more bars from that? Um, he starts, I do, I do the whole worst girl, right. put your girth on me, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't remember all of it, but um, you know, he 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 was then became very needy, right? Very needy, calling me, uh, faxing me, faxing you. I didn't even know how he, I had a fax. <laughs> You didn't know you had a fax. I didn't even know I had a fax. <laughs> I'm getting faxes from the bloody bench. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Ed Sheeran, oh, bless him, but very needy, geezer. Uh, you're not a, not a fan of him? Oh, I love him. Oh, you love him? Yeah, I love him, but just needy. <laughs> just like a needy girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> would you uh, Would you do any more sort of songs with him? Um, I would think so. You know, I, I've got a few. I've got a few kind of um, remixes that I want to do, but maybe not Ed Sheeran. Maybe some other the, some other songs. You know, I mean, I can't I can't remember exactly which ones now. Um, but you know, like I've got a few aliases, like you know, Girth, Wind and Fire, right? Some soul ballads. You know, what I mean? like it. Um, do you remember something like that? You know, what I mean, um, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I did uh, my ex-wife uh, Aldona, who mm. stole my work, robbed me, the mm. bitch. Yeah. Um, I did one song which was you remember Dirty Diana. Yeah. Where Michael Jackson. Dirty Diana. Oh yeah, so yeah. I did Dirty Aldona. <laughs> I do loads of remixes. No, I'm a very musical. A musical being. I love know. it. I love it. And I've I've seen you online, not only sort of rubbing shoulders with um, stars like Ed Shearer, uh, but you you you've done um, post. You, you went to Post Malone's house. Posty, yeah, Posty. <laughs> you see one of your pals? He's one of my mates. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, he's got White Iverson. Yep. Did a remix with him as well. Brown Iverson. <laughs> Ever since the ball is so young. I don't know the words. <laughs> Lovely fella, though. Lovely fella. How, how, did, how did that come about? How'd oh, we just snuck into his yard. We were out in LA doing some promo. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I hustled it, told a few lies. You know mm. what I mean? Um, and ended up in his yard, basically, and did a little sketch with him. Wow. Bob's your uncle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, have, you, have you seen that sketch, Stevie? I haven't. You've not seen your no. buddy with Post Malone? No. It's fucking brilliant. You wrote a little little beat yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Stuff Beats like and Grinder were doing some stuff, rhyme, teaching him how to rhyme, basically. Because mm. you know these American fellas, let's be honest, they're all right, but they don't really know how to rap, do they? It's all that bloody mumble. It's like, hey, what is that? You want some real lyrics, you listen to MC Grinder. Yeah. They're so the you don't boys. want to read them all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's are, real bars. They are the boys. Yeah, that's real bars, mate. You're, you're obviously the, uh, the the mayor of uh, Hounslow, mm -hmm. um, self proclaimed mayor. Um, well, the people's mayor. What does the mayor like to wear? Oh, I mean, a lot of leopard skin. Um, I like very interesting materials. Uh, like my shirt, for example. I'm not wearing it now, unfortunately. It's, mm. um, uh, it got, it got ruined in the in the in the in the wash, um, but my shirt is actually uh, it's got seven different materials in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like leather, polyester, silk, uh, plastic, um, <laughs> uh, ni nylon, hmm. uh, cotton, um, and an unknown material. <laughs> right. And it has a very weird texture. Sounds it's, like, it's, it's, it sounds uncomfortable. It is, <laughs> and um, fashion is pain. And sometimes I'm wearing the shirt. And my nipples can bleed. Oh, chafing. Yeah. But that's that's fashion. <laughs> I'm a fashionista, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it even is. though I'm not wearing the gear right now, right. But normally people know I've got the leopard skin shirt, and I'll tell you what, the texture is so weird. It's like shark skin. It'll cut ya. <laughs> It'll cut ya. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, we know you're into your Gucci and stuff like that, and and you're a, you're a ladies' man. Mm. So I, I guess that the question is the three G's, right? Mm. It, Gucci. Gucci. Girls. Girls. Or girth. Or girth. Yeah. Well, without the girth, you can't have the girls and the Gucci, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what came first, the, gir the girth or the Gucci? Age-old question, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you got all three of them? I've got all three. Yeah. The girth is very important. Let me be honest with you, yeah, Jack Mike. Yeah. Um, <laughs> women don't want six-packs. No. Okay? I'm bringing back dad bods. Let me tell you something, yeah? Mm. 
don't worry about summer bod, mate. I got my winter bod all year round. <laughs> no one wants a six pack. It's hard. It hurts. Ouch. <laughs> you want nice roars. You know, a girl feels very safe in my in my man tits, in my moves. You're right. You know, in my girth. Yeah. She feels like nice and warm. Nestled. I'm ten- yeah, I'm telling you right now, yeah. Dad bods, girthy bodies. You know what I mean? I want my I, I want to be shaped like a cola bottle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Moves, big hips, big thighs, chafing thighs as well. Right. You know, yeah. you need pseudocreme. A lot of you a chafes, doesn't it? Like I nipple- like a chafe. Do you? You want to feel alive, don't you, mate? <laughs> You know, right, nipples okay. bleeding, thighs bleeding, a lot of blood and sweat. <laughs> That's what they mean when they say blood, sweat, and tears. Chafe, chafe. Uh, got you, got yeah. you. And and we like to finish up our podcasts or our, our mini podcast with um, a hypothetical question. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if you could, uh, Stevie. Am I going to ask the slug question or am I going to ask the hundred balls question? A uh, hundred balls. It's got to be right, hundred balls. Right, you're you're a man who loves his money. His mm. old bunts, right? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. You like it. So yeah. the old guacamole. That's the, that's the old <laughs> guacamole. The old pesto. Just run with it. Don't 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 question the it. The old sarg. <laughs> the old devil's lettuce. Oh no, that's weed. Sorry, got confused. <laughs> Imagine this. You've got a hundred balls in a bag. They're all the same size. 99 of them are blue. Are blue. One of them is red. Mm. You're allowed to have as many pulls of a ball as you like. You can choose zero if you want. If you get a blue out, you win a million pounds straight into your bank account. If you pull the red, you die in a year. You get like the worst illness imaginable. Mm-hmm. You die. Do you go for a pull? And if you do go for a pull, how many balls are you, you going to risk taking? Always go for a pull, mate. You know, as I say, um, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> um, life is about taking risks. Mm. Pull it out, mate. And if I get the disease, gay salah, gay salala. Oh, gay, yeah. How many are you going for? I'll go for five. <laughs> That's quite big. Yeah. That's quite big. I've got big, big balls, mate. <laughs> I've, got, I've got big blue balls. <laughs> I haven't had a bank for ages. That's why I came on here. <laughs> What's the happy ending podcast? Are you not asking me questions about balls, blue balls? <laughs> are you not even going to toss me off? <laughs> I didn't say I would. Yeah, don't rule it out. Okay, okay. Don't okay. rule it out. Okay. Uh, Chibuddy, it's been an absolute pleasure. We're going to have to speak to Asim again in a, in, in a minute. But before... Either doss or don't talk <laughs> we, we, we were thinking <laughs> the same complete thing. Dosser, <laughs> complete doss. Doesn't shut up, mate. Does not shut up. Now, before you leave, is there any chance, because we're, we're huge fans of you and we're huge fans of the um, Corrupt FM, could you could you please look into to, to the um, camera and give us a little bit of a review from Chibuddy? Maybe say, I'm Chibuddy, you're watching Jack Mate's Happy Hour podcast? Yeah, sure. Wait, right into that camera? Yeah, please. Okay, hold on. Hello. What's up? This is Chibuddy G, a.k.a. Alan Brown Sugar, and you are watching the Happy Hour podcast. I love it. Chibuddy, it's been Order. an absolute pleasure. Nice one, lads. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> and uh, who's going to pay you? you lot send me yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll send it by pigeon, yeah. Pigeon? No, check. Send it by check. Check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody, it's not going to bloody bounce, is it? No, 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 no. no. We'll okay. fax it. That's fine. Yeah. Well, you're going to fax it? Yeah. yeah. Actually, good shout. I didn't even know I had a fax. <laughs> All right, nice one, lads. <laughs> See you later. That's the best thing ever. It's, it just this podcast just gets better and better and better. I love that he's actually left the room again yeah, to come back in as himself. A serious improv guy. That was amazing. That was amazing. Do you do you have to do you, do you feel pressure when you're when you're doing the character? No, I feel fine. I do feel like sometimes maybe I should go into therapy and I'm just check out my uh, split personality. <laughs> <set>. <laughs> I was about to it say makes no. it it's sometimes a bit too easy to go back and forth. No one's ever seen you guys in the same room together. No, you've even I'm left not. to come back. I know. Seven, eight, full black top, like like dressed hooligans from Bulgaria, turn around the corner and start walking towards us, and we were getting approached by the guys who were probably in the stadium doing the Nazi salutes. Yeah.